Is this thing recorded? Alright. Warning. The following vlog may contain explicit words, a.k.a. swear words. So if you don't like that, you know what? I wouldn't watch this vlog if I were you. With that warning being out of the way, welcome back to the second edition of Ryan's Ramblings. To the 12 of you who watched the first one so far, I hope more of you watch, because I happen to think my video kicks ass. So, welcome back. This is the second edition. <laughs> I'm surprised I made it this far, and we're back. Now, I'm going to be answering questions that you people, yes, you people, might be wondering. Today, I'm going to start with something that I get a lot. What is Ryan like after he's drunk? Well, I'm not drunk right now, so I can't answer that. But, am I very tipsy? Guilty as charged. So, we're going to go with that. As you can tell, I might have had one. I might have had two. I had ten. That is it. I have had enough to the point where I feel great. For those of you who don't know, and how could you not know, I talk about it all the time, beer's awesome. I happen to love beer. I think it tastes very good. I think it makes me feel like about a trillion freaking bucks. And blah, 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 all that good crap. And after having ten blue moons, by far my favorite beer, although not the cheapest, it's made me feel pretty darn good. So, here we go. Um, you know... I'm going to completely forgot where the hell I was going with this. So I'm going to wing it and we're going to see where this goes. So yeah, beer's awesome. I mean, if you don't know me, I like beer. I kind of had to conceal my enjoyment of beer during my Northwestern tenure. Um, but that's a whole other story. But here I am, I'm out in the open. Um, Blue Moon is my favorite beer. To me, I mean, it tastes better on tap than it does bottle, but what beer doesn't taste better on tap? Most of the time, oh, my iPhone's on low battery. Well, screw you, buddy. Screw you. Get longer battery life. Um, Michelob is cheap, and it tastes solid. And it does the job, so most of the time I drink that. But Blue Moon's my favorite. It's pretty good. Um, I also like Guinness when I'm feeling feisty. Um, but most of the time I don't feel feisty, so I don't drink Guinness. But Guinness is awesome. So, um, By the way, if you're drinking Blood, Bud Light, smash your head into a wall and figure out a good beer. Although Bud Light Lime's okay. But regular Bud Light? No. I'm going to judge you. Now granted, I'm the last person who should be judging you. But I'm gonna judge you. So, this vlog is completely going off the rails. But I'm gonna upload it to YouTube anyways. Because I'm having so much gosh darn fun doing this. Um, now some of you might be wondering, Ryan... Don't you, aren't you one of them Christians? Don't you love Jesus? Isn't drinking bad? And that's a whole nother issue that I'm currently not of the right mind to address. Although I do think that you can reconcile, on a seriously, on a serious note, I do think that you can reconcile drinking a beer, or five, or ten, and drinking, as long as you don't do anything that's dumb. For example, if I went out and robbed a bank while drunk, that's bad. If I went out and have s and slept with someone, that would be bad. Not that I'm going to do either of those things, because I still actually have my judgment, even though I may or may not seem like a complete and total idiot to you. 
Oh man, this is gonna be f this is gonna be a fun vlog to watch tomorrow morning when I'm completely totally sober. Um. Anywho, yeah. I don't know what else I can say other than, see, beer is a drink is like the most common bonding form. You have this person, which is kind of whatever, and this person that kind of whatever, but they're like, you like beer, and it's like, hell yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, we both have something in common. And then they come together and wonderful, wonderful things happen when two people who just love a good beer come together. Now, I should clarify, I love beer. I don't drink hard liquor very often. I have drinking tequila. I have given up on tequila because everything they say about tequila a.k.a. tequila is true. It is literally the most disgusting thing you will ever taste in your entire life. And I've tasted pickles, so trust me, tequila is more disgusting than pickles. Now, I know many of you love pickles. If you don't know me very well, you'll know that I think pickles are the most disgusting thing on the face of the earth. Trust me, tequila is far worse. Um, I also don't drink whiskey. Anymore. I have not always had that rule. These days, I pretty much strictly stick to strictly stick. To say that five times fast. And if you could do it without tripping off any words, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> that completely discourages the whole point of saying something ridiculous. But hey, this is my vlog. I make the freaking rules. So here we go. What time? How much time do we have? 7 o'clock. Holy freaking crap. I've rambled on for 7 minutes. But then again, this is Ryan's Ramblings. The name of the blog has Ramblings in the title. So if you don't like it, y'all could just shut the heck up. You thought I was going to say a bad word, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Well, you know what? I do whatever the hell I want. So, not quite sure where to take this, but yeah, I was saying, I don't, I don't drink hard liquor. I've had my fun drinking days. Um, for those of you who know the story of the wedding I was in, you know how much fun I had that weekend. Um, Bowers, if you're watching this, that was the best weekend of all time. Thanks for the great wedding. And I promise I will never, ever, ever get that drunk again. No, my fingers weren't crossed. Um, yeah. I got nothing else. Again, thank you for watching my initial vlog, all 12 of you. If you haven't seen it, go watch that crap. I almost said something else. Watch it, because it's awesome. And I had a lot of fun making it, and since then, to celebrate, I've watched the lead. I had myself a big freaking thing of fried chicken. Oh my gosh. Can I just say how awesome fried chicken is? It's literally like the one of the most delicious things on planet Earth. Now I'm sick of that stereotype that only... Oh no, I'm not going there. I'm, I'm going to say something I'm going to regret if I go there. Um, yeah, who says white people can't eat fried chicken? Fried chicken is like the most delicious thing that I've eaten today. And I had pizza. And the fried chicken was more delicious than the pizza. So, yeah. Um, and I watched Aladdin. And for those of you who don't know, I think Disney movies just kick ass. They're just, they're amazing. I could watch them all day. And yeah, are they a little cheesy? Of course they are. But that's what makes them so awesome. Like, I'm a 23-year-old grown-ass man. And I still, I still tear up whenever I hear A Whole New World. Because those two just, they love each other so much. Hey, my camera's like, camera, iPhone, whatever the, I can say is I need a new webcam because this thing just sucks. Um, I watched Hercules and Mulan last week. I'm watching Aladdin this week and they are just, they're amazing movies. And, of course, you get things that you didn't get when you were... And, see, here's the thing. Here's the beauty of 
What makes a truly great children's movie is that it can appeal to all ages. Like, not just something for kids, but they may, they throw... They throw jokes in and th things in that, like, only adults can understand. Like, I was watching Hercules last week, and they were talking about Megara, a.k.a. Meg, the, the girl that Hercules falls in love with that works for Hades. And if you haven't seen the movie, I don't know, I have no help for you. What the F is wrong with you? Go see Hercules. It's a great movie. But she she like she sells her she sells her soul to Hades for some dude who leaves her for another woman. I mean, you don't get that crap as a kid. You don't. And like as a dude, like as a twenty three year old man, just like dude, I know how she feels as a man. I mean, I don't know how a woman feels. And if I did, there'd be so many questions I would have for myself. But that's another vlog entirely. Man, these are going to be so much fun. I am loving this. Um, and my mother crapping camera keeps slamming and moving every time I hit the table. And it's never quite where I want it to be, except now it is awesome. We're at 11 minutes and there's no signs of stopping. It's like Willy Wonka when they're on that freaking chocolate ride, and they're, uh, I, I don't even know where I was going with that. It's 12 o'clock at night. I'm tired. I'm a little tipsy. My mind is just like, <laughs> that was my analogy of one in one ear and out the other. Um, I don't know if I have much else. I'm currently staring at my statue of Superman because I kind of want to go see Man of Steel when it comes out on DVD because it was awesome. I know a lot of people hated it. I don't know why. I thought it was a great movie. But it was awesome. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say. Oh, Dan! Dan Hankel, if you're watching this, I am going to obliterate you in fantasy football this week. Seriously, I am going to kick your ass so badly no one will be able to recognize you. Um, that's my foray into fantasy football trash talk. I am too tired to come up with anything more creative. Also, I've been watching this show called The League. It's like the funniest show I've seen um, it's awesome and really if you think that I seem drunk right now I'm really not that bad I have been about a billion times give or take a million times worse than this also I have never ever vomited due to alcohol I am vomit free since 93 for the two of you that get that reference Bravo! I am so proud of you for watching that show. Because it's my favorite show of all time. Um, for those of you who don't get that reference, go watch How I Met Your Mother. It's literally my favorite show on TV. I have never vomited due to alcohol. I have vomited while under the influence, but that was due to being force-fed chicken nuggets. Chad, you asshole. You fed me chicken nuggets while I was... But that's another story entirely. Um, this is... Holy crap, is that really at 14 minutes? I'm going to stop talking soon because this scene is running on way longer than I thought it would. Um, if there is some reason why you are still watching this after 14 minutes, first of all, man, props. I appreciate the support. Even though I currently, I mean, I look like crap right now. I've got like a freaking week long without shaving. I need a haircut. I mean, I'm basically a homeless guy who's not homeless. If that makes any sense. I've got some crappy ass t-shirt on. Um, thank you for watching this. I really legitimately appreciate it.
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna play... No, screw that, I'm not gonna play Xbox. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. No, no, no shit, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go play games. Because I wanna play Assassin's Creed. Because it's awesome. Um, anywho, we're at 15 minutes. Um, off the rails. This is completely, um, I thought this was going to be a three-minute little vlog just to give you guys a hint of what I'm like when I'm a little tipsy, but this is going to way longer. I'm probably going to publish this whole thing on YouTube. I don't know why. Um, which brings me to my next thing. Thank you for watching this. Um, you think I'm a dumbass when I'm drunk? Let me know in the comments. You think I'm hilarious? Let me know in the comments. Or, let me know on Facebook. I am on Facebook. Just shoot me a wall poster message. Or, send me a thing on Twitter. I do love my Twitter. It's one of my guilty pleasures in life. At Ryan W. Hoyt. That is my Twitter handle. Just shoot me something and we can tell you. We can be best friends. To all of you who are watching this, I hope that I can someday be best friends with each and every one of you. And I get strangely philosophical to end this. And alright, sounds good. Ryan Hoyt, out.